Hi folks, it's me again, the old bloke on the bike. We're on a trip to the Lake District, a cycling trip for a few days. I'm in the van with Martin. Say hello, Martin. Hello, Martin. <laughs> We've only lost the bikes once so far. They've fallen over on one of the uh, turns we made. Something to do with the, uh, the bungee strap, was it, Martin? You hadn't quite attached it properly. But we'll let him off. As you can see, we're coming into Windermere now and we're going to Ambleside, that's where we base. We're gonna have a few days at Ambleside and we're meeting the guys there at about 11 o'clock. This is us. We've arrived. Yeah, hopefully somewhere to park. I'll be lucky with this one. Keep going down, down to the front. Keep going. See next to that blue car, can you squeeze it in there? Yeah. Now then, as we roll out on our first ride, please allow me to introduce the gang. Firstly, we have Andy, aka Wout Van Art. Then Dave, aka Bernard Hino. Walt, aka Cav. And Graham, aka Fausto Coppi. Martin, aka Stephen Kreuzweig. And Rob, aka Primoz Roglic. And finally, yours truly, a.k.a. Jacques Oncatil. Right, we're out on our first ride. We're going around the Langdales. We're climbing at the moment towards the Drunken Duck pub. And then we we'll take a right down the very quiet little lanes. There's only six of us at the moment. The seventh member of our group. Welp Van Art will be joining us this evening. <laughs> Rob's not even out of breath, he's never gonna hey, Rob's not even he's not gonna zero rate over hundred yet, Rob. Well done Walt. Brilliant. I'll uh, edit that <laughs> swearing out. Car up! Just coming towards Little Langdale. Water! Coming to that 25% climb um, over into Langdale. Oh. Past Bleetarn, I think. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving it. It's not about the miles, it's more about the smiles. Look at that. There's Martin. He's put a big effort in there. Big effort by Martin. He could do with saving some for this 25%. Here we go. 25. Well done, Walt. I never thought 14% would feel so easy. Yeah, that's what towards the end. Yeah. <laughs> Have to be really careful here. Only on one break. Whoa. With all this gravel. Oi. 
filming. Oh, more gravel. Oh, bloody hell. Up over into Grasmere now for lunch. Just been to Matilde's for lunch. Very nice. I had tart of the day. Superb. Oh, oh, thank hell. you. <laughs> hey, just got a free shower. An early bath. This is a beautiful back road, a hey, up cattle grid. Oh, it follows the river Rothe all the way back to Ambleside. Absolutely beautiful. So we're now looking for a bike shop because Rob has got no rear brake at all. He's down to the metal. Should get sorted here. New pads. Yeah, but did you squeeze it before, Rob? Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, of course I did. As soon as I got on my bike, so when we I said did. Well, I screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Squeeze yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. Do you, you need something to squeeze it out. You need something to put, press it apart. Then. He has, he has done. I saw him use his tire lever. Tire oh, his tire lever. There you go. Rob, spin Pissing it so your gears go in there. Oh, that sounds good. Rubbing nicely, isn't it? That's what you want, you want it rubbing like that all the time, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's good for your training. There we go. What was that? Scores on the doors. 21.2 miles. Average speed 11.3. Is your kitchen closed? Is so we're in room 323 and we've dropped Lucky, haven't we? I mean, we've got, there's Martin's bed, there's my bed, none of us have to use the top bunk, they're free, that's storage. We've even got a little sink, a little sink, a cubby hole, I don't know what that's for, radiator, and the piece de resistance is the view. I mean, look at that. You can see over the lake. What more could you ask for? Well, an all sweet toilet would be nice, all sweet shower. But this ain't bad, is it? I'm quite happy with this. So, day two, we headed south through Windermere and Bowland Bridge and on into Cartmel, where we stopped for lunch at the Mallard Tea Room. And it was here that Dave was bowled over by the excellent quality of the hot chocolate on offer. What are you looking at? You never seen someone fix a puncher before? Come on! Mate, got the gas canisters. Can you blow it? Rob, can you blow it? Put your lips around that valve and blow it. You're not getting gas? 
No, we've got loads of gas, but we've got the pump out, so I'm just doing it with the pump. Yeah, so we're going up to um, Keswick Derwent Water. It's only a 20 odd mile ride, but it's got uh, 3,000 feet of climbing in 20 miles, so it's going to be a tough day. The weather's looking all right, just about. Let's go. Right, we're off on day three of the Old Bloke cycling trip to the Lake District, and uh, we won down. Andy's had to go home, tight for time. We're going left somewhere along here. Um, so there's six of us, which is still okay. Can I go this way? Yeah, of course you can. Go left. Go left. And um, we're in convoy of two vehicles. We've got, hopefully, we've got Rob behind us. And, uh, we're, on, we're on now. We're on. We're on now. And uh, we've got the two bikes bungeed up in the back. There's a lot of noise from the back. It's that tools are. It's That's saws. tools. You know what it is? My saw's rattling. Against, saw's against rattling. The panel. Nice. The metal panel. Stop worrying, Dave. I'm not worrying. But we didn't lock the back doors, and if them matter. if them bikes come out, it's lo hopefully it's locked. It's not locked, locked. It's but it's it's locked. It's shut. It's hopefully shut. they won't come out, and hopefully Rob it doesn't come out yet. Rob, Rob so. will not run over them if they fall out on the road. Anyway, it's a lovely day. The sun is shining. We're in Ambleside, and we're in this um, wonderful van. It's silent. It's totally silent, this van. It, there's no rattles, nothing. It, it fills you with confidence, the, the lack of noise. I'm full of confidence with this. And I've got a superb chauffeur. <laughs> Come on. With a sheep. Yeah, there's a few in there, isn't there? It's a sheep convention. Right by the river here, Martin. We went over that bridge. Did we? We cycled over there the other day. I brought you back along that little quiet road yeah. at the side of the River Rothe. Rothe. River Rothe. We came down this road and it was all flooded. Yeah. There's lots of water, surface water. Look at that. That's Rydal Water. On your left. Superb. Well, yesterday we. Um, we did a, a lower, well it was still a lot of climbing, but it was a lower level route down to a place called Carmel. And we went in um, a cafe called Mallard Cafe. Um, and it was very nice actually, it was a nice uh, plate of beans on toast at uh, a good price, a nice coffee. But on the way back, the heavens opened and uh, we got rather wet. I must say I was probably wetter than a submarine's number plate by the time I got back to the uh, hostel. Um, the roads were very, very tricky. The, there was a lot of surface water and uh, there were some real sketchy moments. Uh, we had to stop for a puncture, repair a puncture, which was a bit unfortunate because it was very cold and very wet while we were fixing it. And then Martin's front wheel started to come off which wasn't ideal, uh, as we were travelling down a rather steep incline at the time. Um, so we, we had to pull over, re -put, put his front wheel back on. It was a through axle come loose anyway, we got that sorted and we went like a bat out of hell, back through the floods all the way back to the hostel, dripping wet, everything in the drying room, and then that was it for the day. So I apologise, I didn't do a lot of filming because the conditions were just too too bad. So anyway, hopefully today we'll have a lot more, a lot more to show you. Uh, and the weather's a lot better. I can get the I can get the camera out. Okay, I'll catch you later when we're on the ride. Right, I'm a bit off the pace. I've been uh, getting the camera sorted, and these lads are just going for it, full gas. So I've got to catch them. That's Derwent Water down there, which is south of Keswick. We're on the back road, it's lovely. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise. Anyway, I'm going to catch them here. If there's any climbing, I might be able to get up to them.
enjoying this. It's absolutely lovely. The old bloke on the bike is out again. Somewhere new. Not ridden here. This is all new. So we're entering into Borrowdale now. All right. Try to keep up with them. Oh. Car. Yeah. Right, that's the road up. We're gonna go up that valley. And that'll get us up to Honister, where the slate mine is. We were now starting the climb of Honister Pass, and we immediately faced a brutal wall, with inclines of up to 25%. Oh, bugger. You see Robin Green? Well done, Graham. Well done. Well done, Dave. Hey, hey. Well done, boys. Good one, that. Well, well done. Tuffy. Oh, he's here. Well done, Rob. Well done, Dave. Well done, pal. Well done, well done fellas. Done, well done, brilliant climbing, mate. Brilliant. Yeah. Where's Martin going? He's going back for Wally. Well done, Martin. Two of them fellas on that three bikes, he yeah. went, must have gone past them. They were like tic tacking and two of them fell off, didn't they? They weren't here with them. Rob going past them. Two of them went on the embankment, one after the other, one and then the other. Bloody hell. Here we go, we've got some competition here, lad. Well, 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 well done, mate. Yeah. Well done. And now for the descent into Buttermere. And whilst I was faffing with my gloves, the rest of the gang were gone. I needed to get going and fast. Just come down from Honister, we're heading into Buttermere now, and then we're going to go back via the Newlands Pass. It's a sheep dip.
we're heading down into Keswick now and then we'll get back to the car and head home so I think it's a pretty good point to end the video so thanks very much for watching and until next time bye for now hi folks <coughs> I've got a funny voice who's just that by then? <coughs> we don't need to stop for a pair of gloves for Martin at the bike shop we're, we're going to use my spare ones which hand do you want that? do you want the left or the right? we've got to share a pair between us I like my left hand to be warm so you'll have to have the right hand is that alright? That's, that's it's alright isn't it? it's okay, it's alright it's alright that's alright, ok we're sorted cafe stop next, let's, let's, let's get some caffeine in